All right, what's up, ballers? Jacob here with All Drive No Drop. I'm trying something a little different today. It's going to be a review of the Yola Gen 3 Scorpius 16 millimeter, the Colin Johns edition, and this is also a 4.5 flex league match that I play. So I'm just going to combo them both. Let me know if you're interested in me doing this again with the other paddles, or just uh, checking out some higher level games in general, whether they're tournament league or rec games and if that interests you or not so basically let me let me tell you what the flex league is because it seems like it's kind of a newer term the flex league is just a league like say you meet up every week at eight o'clock and you play your league matches except the flex league you schedule your matches on your at your own pace so you always play with the same partner playing with carol here who i play a lot of mixed tournaments with really good player um, it just so happens that she's the only woman in the flex league, so all of our matches are against two men, which you know has actually been really good practice for us because you know you get you're playing against two men, and then you go play mixed against you know one man and one woman. It's you know it's it's just a good practice. It puts a lot of pressure on her because you know they they definitely go after her, but it's been great um, learning experience for both of us, and we're right now we're got one more game left and right now we're in first place so it's been going well anyway uh, I was almost ready to record and talk about my Yola Gen 3 experience with the Scorpius and I've tried a few others but I really thought the Scorpius 16 millimeter was going to be the one for me just because the whole lineup already had a lot of pop so I wanted to try the one with the most control and then of course the whole the listing thing happened with USAP, and I'm like, all right, well, I've had people been asking me to see a whole gameplay and then give me commentary, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just talk about the paddle and then talk about some of the gameplay here. And uh, we'll talk about the paddle first, which, you know, it's not like it's a bad paddle, obviously. It's, you know, they've been selling a ton. The problem I have with it is that the quality control is just bad. So you never know what great level you're going to get. You could get the grittiest one, or you could get, you know, a smooth one. And then you don't know when it's going to core crush. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't seem like there is... It, I mean, I think the hot, the harder you hit, the faster it's going to core crush. It just seems to be the way it goes. But uh, for me, I just don't want to have to worry about my pallet core crushing, and then you have to send it back. I don't know if they're making you pay for shipping still, but when I had my original Hyperion, the Generation 1 Hyperion, I had to send it back four times because the handle kept breaking off from the face. And I had to pay for shipping each time. So imagine you paying $10 to ship your paddle back each time, on top of already pay paying $280, I mean, and you're out the paddle for, you know, maybe 7 to 10 days shipping it there because they won't send it a new one out until they receive the old one. So, that's my problem with Yola in general. Their customer service is bad and their quality control is bad. And you're paying $280. So, I expect top-of-the-line quality control and top-of-the-line customer service if I'm going to spend that much money on the paddle. And if I'm going to recommend it to people, I want to make sure those things are good because... I mean, come on, I, I can't be recommending stuff that I don't believe in. So the paddle itself, how does it perform? Yes, it has a lot of power, it has a lot of pop, it's on the gearbox levels of power. Personally, I would say the gearbox can hit it harder still, but these are right there with it. I mean, I think different people are going to have different experiences. But it's 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 so close that you might it's just, we'll just call it the same thing. But the pop... Uh, really good. I mean, especially with these uh, wide body. Well, these are standard shape for the Scorpius, but really amazing pop, top of the line pop. More than the black gaze in my testing. And then it's like the spin levels are insane because they're getting, you know, oh, what a great shot there by me. <laughs> See, when it short hops up there, when you, you know, when you can't hit it out of the air and you're trying to let it bounce in the kitchen, I. I need to like go drill it because I'm always scared to hit it hard because I feel like I'm going to hit it out or hit it into the net. But you know, I've just been going for it lately and it's been going fine. Uh, so I've had, like the problem I've had with the Yola is the sweet spot is not been as big and especially this one. It's like, okay, the 16 millimeter is supposed to be the 16 millimeter Scorpius. See, I mean there, it just ripped the ball, right? 
But I already, I, I do generate a lot of power on my own, so don't, don't let the paddle fool you. I, I'm, a, I'm a decently strong player too. Um, but I know. Let me, let me finish with the review, and I'll talk about some of this gameplay. So, I have had problems with the power level. Sometimes I go to smash the ball, and the power is just not there. And I think that's just because the way these Gen 3 paddles are, and I had the same problems with the Yo or the uh, gearbox. If you don't hit the sweet spot, the power level just is so inconsistent, it just leaves you wondering, like, what, what's going on? And that that's, brings me to the problems I have with the resets on this, is sometimes, you know, like, you're just leaving the paddle there, the ball goes back, and the paddle doesn't work for you. Sometimes it has the sweet, or it doesn't hit the sweet spot, it just dies. And, you you know, like, the problem with that on this paddle is the power, the pop off the paddle is so drastically different from the sweet spot to the non-sweet spot, you kind of need to know what you're gonna get so if you're not hitting the sweet spot consistently on these resets and blocks then you just don't know where the ball is gonna go and how much power you need to put into the ball uh, so and the, and then I just I didn't have the greatest time controlling it either I mean I think the best thing this thing does is drive the ball which I do like to do like look at that boom rip that two-handed backhand and let's see what happens here oh, me, me fumbling Carol did a great job switching there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's just I don't know. I, I I haven't enjoyed the resets. I haven't enjoyed the drives. So it's like I I don't recommend the paddle to people, but it doesn't matter what I what I say because people love Yola and they they want the power and they want the pop. So if that's really what you want, I think like I've been reviewing the paddle text and I don't know if the review will come out this week, but. I think the paddle techs are just the new phantom line. I think they're just, you know, they're not the same level of power and pop, but I think they're close enough that it's just they're better paddles. You don't, you're not gonna have to worry about the issues. They're cheaper. Um, I mean, they're still expensive at 200, but I mean, we're talking 280 uh, for the old Gen 3. So that's just kind of my thoughts on the Gen 3 and why I didn't really feel like making a full review on it because I just didn't like it and I don't recommend it, but you know, I'll put the link in the description, um, you can buy, I don't think you can get a discount for my stuff yet for Just Paddles, but if you still want to buy it and support the channel, feel free. Um, if you have any other questions about it, go ahead and ask, but you know, it's such a hot paddle that I had to at least test it out and get some solid thoughts on it. Uh, so anyway, let's see here on this, this Flex League match, I don't know what the score is exactly, but... I know this game ended very closely, so I always try to get to the net as fast as possible, especially when I'm playing mix. Um, you know, it's a little bit easier when it's regular mix, but th this is like it's just very important for me to try to take some pressure off of Carol when we're playing two men, because as you can see, they're you know hitting most of the shots to her uh, during this game, and if I don't just get in there and make myself large like and I, I'm trying to make them go behind me like I eventually want them to start trying to go behind me because I'm taking up so much space and it's okay if I get burnt because I mean it's it's worth it you'll see sometimes that you take up so much space and people are trying to keep it away from you what well, or, or that happens this guy had some of the best uh, off the bounce speed ups I've ever seen I mean like for how much power he put into it and how much spin he generated like it just he, he kept fooling me over and over and in those scenarios like I really needed to just protect the line and and sit on it whenever the ball was in front of him uh, and I was across and I was in front of him because he burned at me on it too many times and you would think I would learn but I just didn't learn I did learn a few times but honestly like I needed to do that more uh, but yeah, anyways, trying to make myself large, trying to get in there more. See, right there, oh, I mean, left the ball up a little high, but I just wasn't ready for it. I need to make sure that I am focused and ready to go, uh, because that's a shot that I can get, but I mean, it's still a hard one to get, but I, I just wasn't paying attention. Drive at her, drop finally get something in the middle there and you know, they drop back to her and they hit it out um, 
But yeah, so I'm looking to make myself large, making them try to hit even closer to her sideline where she can power up more, maybe hit an Ernie, or finally they'll go back around behind me and I can get back more involved. Great lob. He hit, a, he hit a pretty good overhead off his back foot. That's a lot harder than, uh, I don't know if what people think, but like hitting a, the overhead off your back foot as you're backpedaling, not the easiest thing to do unless you have hit a lot of them coming from tennis. Great drive. One thing I do am, have been starting to miss about playing indoors though is like scheduling those court times and having a you know a set <laughs> for some because outdoors it can be crowded. The courts are getting even more crowded. I mean that's that's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to crash off anything that I think they can pop up, especially when I'm playing mix. I mean immense too, but One of the, <laughs> I remember that, that was like <laughs> one of the best ATPs I've seen. Like I just didn't think he was going to try to hit it that hard because he was just out of position. But yeah, he whipped that ATP and it, it was a good one. I guess the moral of the story is always be ready for the ATP. Don't just don't just watch it. Although sometimes watching it is okay because, you know, it's, 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 it's not the easiest shot there. So you saw in that cross court exchange, I was being a little bit more dedicated to protecting that sideline because I was in front of, I think his name was Mark, on um, the blue shirt, and I was making sure that he did not speed it up down my line. Um, so, you know, I was learning a little bit, and if I'm standing there, it, sometimes, you know, it just makes them less likely to speed it up, which, you know, he has a great speed up, great shot by Carol there. He has an amazing speed up, and I don't want to just give him a free pass like I need I need to get a paddle on it at least and you know make him earn that point so that was that was a great job by her it was a little short but like especially if you ever feel like you're getting boxed in just go force the Ernie like walk out there force the Ernie and you know you can communicate with your partner beforehand be like i'm really looking to force the ernie so that i can cover you and get some pressure off your back um that's one thing i learned like the first time i like stepped up into like uh four or five like some sometimes like i was like man this pressure um is intense but i'm like all right well if they're gonna keep going to me either like my forehand or backhand angle dink I'm just gonna hit an Ernie on him because you know there's only only so much room there. I'm just gonna stand there and make you go to my partner, or you're gonna gonna eat it. Yeah, I think it was wide enough. I just didn't wait long enough. But this is what I mean. This is this is great. Like, you know, they're they're going to me finally with the dinks, and I just need to hold up better. That's all on me. Another one of those balls that you can't take out of there, but you know it's going to bounce high enough to hit hard. And luckily, I, I think that was I was two for two on the night with those. Usually, I don't. I mean, it's not like something you see that often. That's why I, I don't like hitting it because it's uh it's not exactly the easiest shot to hit. Because who who goes out and practices that? 
but I think the key is like just make sure you get low and then if you don't feel comfortable hitting it hard yeah, just tap it over I mean it's better to get it in than uh, hit it into the net right? and that's the game so those are my thoughts on the uh, Gen 3 Yola that was a 4-5 Flex League match I believe we won that one 11-10 because it's win by one because they want the uh, keep the point differential if you ever play leagues sometimes they just do win by one because of point differential stuff but if you have any questions about the Gen 3 Yola or I would also like to get your feedback if you actually like seeing this if you want me to do more gameplay just with commentary I mean I haven't really done too much commentary before I did do some uh, shout casting for League of Legends about 10 years ago if anyone knows what that is but uh, I do enjoy watching the games giving you know I learn a lot of stuff watching myself and if you want more of this or if you just this would help me get through some uh, paddles that I might not get to as well if you enjoy that just let me know in the comments um, I would appreciate it and thanks for watching go play some pickleball